between February last year and February this year, installment credit on vehicles alone increased by $1.1 billion in Namibia. The Bank of Namibia is adamant at slowing down the constant increase in household debt in the country, as announced earlier this week by the governor of the Reserve Bank, Ipumbushimi. We have seen that households, especially when it comes to overdraft, they started slowing down. So we want to see that happening with all other categories, especially motor vehicles, loans. So if that doesn't come down, we may be forced to increase interest rate again. But I cannot, I cannot give you a definite, definitive answer to say that we are going to increase it next week and at the next monetary policy committee. But if that doesn't soften the loans to households in, in a form of motor vehicle um, loans is not softening, we, we will be forced to increase interest rates. We asked economist Daniel Kavishe from Seminar Storm Securities his opinion on using the interest rate as a tool to monitor household debt. First thing you should know is that it's already worked. So over the past 12 months, there's been an increase of 75 basis points in terms of the repo rate. So remember, if you can recall, we had two interest rate hikes during the course of 2014 and then one at the beginning of this year. And if you look at the credit extension numbers, specifically under households, the overdraft facility, which used to grow by about 30% year on year, narrowed down to about 12% at the end of March. So you can see that it has had an impact on the consumer spending. It is, however, should be noted that in totality, if you look at the growth between secured lending and unsecured lending, there is still a worrying factor with the fact that most consumers, as much as they may have declined or decreased the rate in which they're taking on credit, credit growth is still growing by about 12% on an annual basis. One worry factor that he may have mentioned during his monetary policy statement, of course, is the importation of unproductive goods, specifically vehicles. And that has always been a feature of their statement, and it's still a feature now. If the increase in that specific sector goes on in 2015, the same way as 2014, the Bank of Namibia will be forced, like he mentioned, to increase interest rates. Over the last six months, installment credit extended to households in Namibia increased by 18.7% on average, according to the Bank of Namibia. For the News on One, I'm Franchu Elafir.